Hello everyone, Phoenix Fella here, and I am super excited because we're playing NASCAR 15, and guess where we're racing? Dover International Speedway. My home track. I live literally like 20 to 30 minutes away from this track. Just saying. <laughs> so this is literally my home track. I've grown up around it. I've seen it about a thousand times uh, from our trips to Dover. Um, when the when the NASCAR comes to town, I get I used to as a younger kid sit out on my front step and watch the haulers go by. That's how close I lived to the track. Matter of fact, one day at night after the race, I was at a pizza place with some of my friends, and Dale Jr. and Jimmy Johnson and I think um, Matt Kenseth's truck went right out in front of us. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's awesome to be racing at my, my home track. So, let's begin qualifying. We're getting the pole here. We're getting, we're taking the around. We're going to be ruthless. I've been to this race twice. And the first time I ever went, um, Dale Jr. is my favorite driver. He won the first time. The second time, my favorite, second favorite driver was Jeff Burton. Um, I've been a fan of Jeff Burton since way back when he was driving the number 99. Um, oh, it was car battery company. It was like a, a pinkish purple and black car. It had like lightning bolts down the side. Um, I don't know why. I, he just he was just like always a really you know like laid back guy, and uh, I always thought he was cool. And he he actually won in the number 31 um, cat car the second time I went. Uh, and the first time I went was the first race after 9-11 actually and my, my grandfather uh, couldn't make it So he gave me and my dad his tickets and if you actually there's you can actually see it on YouTube um, There's a gigantic flag <laughs> in corners uh, Well in turn four we were more we were more right about here um, I'm actually at the top of that flag which I can that's something when I watch watch back that race I can be like I was right there I was right there <laughs> so that was, that's that's a cool memory and then um, the second time I was actually in turn two I was like it was like right between turn one and turn two and um, it was so funny because at at the end of the race we were actually so close that uh, we could see behind the haulers and I saw Dale Arnett Jr. Um, get out of his car and sit on the back of his hauler and wipe his head off with a towel. That's how that's how close I was. Um, and well, the first one actually, Cal Ripken, my favorite baseball player of all time. Uh, he, Cal Ripken Jr. That is, he was the Grand Marshal, so he waved the flag and everything. It was pretty neat. Um, but the second one, right after, right after the. Um, race was over it just like I mean it was perfect timing because the race hadn't even been over for like five minutes and it just downpoured I mean like the the worst rain I've ever been outside in it was just within like less than a minute everybody was soaking wet and there was this guy running through the stands like I gotta pee I gotta pee and I'm yelling just piss on yourself no one will know we're drenched from the rain Good times, good times. Actually, the first time I went was before they built that hotel on the Dover Downs there in the corner three. So that's that's how far back I remember. I remember before there was Miles the Monster, uh, and when it was Dover Downs Speedway, not Dover International Speedway. Time is almost up, pal. Better make sure you're happy with your setup. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I'd like to, like, one year, like, um, go there with my wife and, like, go into the pits and everything. I, I, I haven't had that experience. My my dad and uh, uncles and all the mom and aunts have all had that experience. They used to camp in the infield. <laughs> and my dad says, it's not, it's not as good as in the bleachers, trust me. Uh, he's like, you can see the whole track. You, you, you can tell what's going on. The, the infield is just not the same. You can't you can't really see everything. I was like, I know, but I don't, I just want to be in you know go see the pits and everything. It'd be awesome. 
it's funny. Um, yeah, I'm going to be a, like really talkative in this episode because of just experience. This, this is this is just cool. Um, they actually had like a Mustang day at the track a couple months ago, and my buddy was in it. And um, you know, I got a couple of friends that are, are Ford, and I got a couple of friends that are Chevy. So we all just kind of like go back and forth at each other. And uh, my buddy had a Mustang. He went to to us and he posted a video of all the Mustangs driving around the track. And uh, one of my friends commented and said that has to be the slowest lap that the <laughs> National Speedway has ever seen. Watch the wall, buddy. <laughs> Uh, funny, funny, funny. Now I'm gonna get a ton of comments like, if you think Mustang suck, you suck. I'm just not a Mustang fan. I'd rather have a, a Corvette. I'm not really a car person. If I had to choose a car, it'd be a Corvette. Good work out there. Complete this lap. We're I'm done. more of a truck person. Yeah, that's how we do it. Dominate here. Nobody's taking a our pole and nobody's taking it. Our win. This is our track. Woo! And for some reason, uh, before I started this episode, I got a new sponsor. Home Depot was my sponsor. But for some reason, I can't put um, Home Depot and Dollar General on the car at the same time. So. <laughs> and there's not a Home Depot paint job, so. I wish I would have known that, you know, they didn't, like, let you know that these two sponsors conflict. You can't, or you can't put them on cart at the same time, because then I wouldn't have chosen Home Depot. I would have just must, with Dollar General, or kept my Dollar General. So now I'm not getting paid, because I don't have Home Depot in my car. My Home Depot money anyway, I'm not getting paid. Is almost up, pal. Better make sure you're happy with your setup. Keep her steady, buddy. Interesting fact about me. <laughs> Pass it over to Alice. Yeah, when I went this footing all there, I was all seats, I thought. But I've never been to any casino. I've never been gambling. I'm twenty uh, I'm twenty five, so I'm over twenty one. I can go do it, but I just don't I'm not the gambling type. Even like when I was doing the CSGO gambling. I was very cautious about <laughs> what I put up to, or I gambled away. I was mostly boxes Check or skins I didn't want anymore. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just not the gambler. I got, I'm kind of, I'm like in the mindset is like, yeah, I could walk out with more money. That I had in my pocket to begin with, but then again, I could walk out without that money. So. <laughs> You're on the inside. I don't have that kind of money to gamble away. I'm just as strict as with my, you know, real life money that I am with my in-game money. I'm strict with my in-game money. I do not like to spend it at all. Time's up, buddy. Finish this lap. We'll head back in. Newman, you best stay your butt back there. Woo. Come on, that's what I'm talking about, man. Way to grab that pole. 
This race just got a whole lot easier. Awesome. Totally awesome performance out there. Now, yeah. we got to make sure that the race, we finish in the same position. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of NASCAR 15, including the race here at the Monster Mile, Dover International Speedway, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.